How do you create your React app with no configuration? Hey programmers, Facebook just created a new tool for us to use to create our React apps. It's called Create React App. I know, it's kind of a long name for it. But what it does is you can install it via NPM and then you can use it to create your React apps. It's the official way to do it. There's a lot of other, uh, there's a lot of other projects out there that did something similar, but this is officially anointed by Facebook as the way to do it. So it's really neat. It can, once it creates your app, you can have things like, uh, it has ES6 support built in, it has a dev server, you can do linting, and it's really easy to do. And you can do something called eject. So if you decide that you wanted to create the project, but you no longer wanted to use Create React app, you can eject it and that basically generates all the files for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my screen how it works to get installed and how to work with it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at installing the app, the Create React app tool. So we do npm install tac g create react app. And it'll just take a second here, install. It already just installed on mine, but you can see this is how it normally is. Then we can do something like create react app and then we can just create an app here we'll call it hello world and install the packages we need okay great so everything's installed so we only really have three commands that we can do use so i can show you so we'll change directory to hello world and then we'll run npm start that starts the development server And it puts in port 3000. So if you look here. Okay, welcome to React. So it's definitely working. And now we can stop it. We can take a look here. If we look, it has a source folder. And if you see here, this is all the files that was created for us. So we can take a look. We have our app.js file. App CSS, so everything's created here so we can get started right away. We don't have to import everything. Now we can run npm run build and that'll build everything for us. And then the same thing we can also run and so that'll build everything for us. If we go in the build folder, we'll see all the files there and we can run this uh, web server from here and, and take a look at it, but we won't do that. And then last, feature you can use is npm run eject and I'll ask you are you sure if you do yes here that'll add all the dependencies to the folder so that we can change it it'll, it'll show us all the boilerplate code code in the background that's doing everything and at this point we don't have to do anything else we can then uh, we no longer can use them we can no longer use the same uh, react stuff but everything's there in the folder for us to to change so i'll show you okay everything is now here so now we have if you look at the package.json file we see all the packages that were being used we now have the ability to go into the scripts folder and we can take a look exactly how it's doing everything from the start using webpack the build so now we can customize everything we want so thanks for listening thanks for watching this is just a quick introduction into the create react app tool if you have any questions leave a comment below also check out the notes below i'll have some more information um, on on this instructions and also a couple of resources that i like for react that you guys can look into thanks